Our second semifinal is ready to play. Space Explorers between the lines. In three, two, one, go. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in the second matchup of these two alliances. Like Brett said, a three-point affair last time. And it could go either way during the sandstorm period here. It's tied up 15 even. A last minute shot from red gives them a slight advantage. Only three points quickly overtaken again by blue before you know it. This is going to be a full two and a half minute match with every second, every hatch, and every piece of cargo counting towards our final scores and just possibly making the difference. 1983 as the skunks now have a hatch. They've got lined up, and with a bit of precision, the Skunks are in for two points. Blue Alliance now moving their way back to achieve, hopefully, a more complete Blue Alliance rocket. 1983 able to score on multiple levels of the rocket. They are capable of holding more pieces of cargo in both the ship and the rocket on both sides. The question is, will this be a tie game all the way until the end? Over a minute left in play as the Skunks now take possession yet again and unfortunately drop control. A spin maneuver there clears the cargo out while Jack in the bot across the field places a very well-aimed cargo hatch at their rocket and tops it off with not one, but make that two pieces of cargo for red. There might not be a bot faster in the northwest than, than Jack's. They haul around the field, possession very quickly grabbed again. This time, Jack and the Bot miscalculating and sending a piece of cargo across the floor. 45 seconds, and it's still a tie game. We are neck and neck, ladies and gentlemen. The Skunks still holding on to possession, whether they like it or not. Having a tough time losing that piece of cargo, but it goes after a second. 30 seconds remaining. Red Alliance currently with the advantage, five points. Still a neck and neck match here as we look to the final 20 seconds upon us. Both sides going to rely heavily on any last minute scoring efforts, including the Hab. And looks like we may see two blue bots in it. Three blue bots on the Hab now. Red missing a machine. This might have just been what they needed to stay in this match. The advantage early on went to red. They wanted to win it to move on to the finals, but our Blue Alliance absolutely giving them a run for their money. We'll have to see how the scores shake out now that the dust is settling, and we will bring you your final results and let you know if our Blue Alliance takes it to a tiebreaker in just a moment. <laughs> 